write functions in Excel. Um, good day, everyone. I just want to quickly take you through another important function in Excel called write functions in Excel. And what write function in Excel uh, does is, is that it helps you to extract a given numbers of characters from the right side of a supply text string. Imagine you have a books and uh, you just want to uh, extract a kind of characters from this string text string uh, using the right functions. Uh, you can do that by using the right functions to do that. So, and I will show you an example. What it does is just extract text from the right of a string. Uh, this text is a string um, and it has a characters and books. And inside the characters, we have what it called uh, a character. So that's a number of characters on a given text. And one or more characters. So it depends. If you want to extract two, you put two. And if you want to extract three, you put right. But the character will start extracting from the right side of a string text. So, and the argument is text. Uh, that's a text to which the... Uh, to extract the characters on the right string. And we also have the uh, the num charm, which is the optional. That's the numbers of characters to extract uh, starting on the right. Uh, so if you doesn't include the num charm, you will just extract what is exactly at the right of the string. So uh, let's quickly take you to an example how to do this. Um, let's assume that you want to use a write function here. Uh, assuming that um, you have this input books, uh, let's change this one to uh, let's change this one to orange. Let's assume that you have this information here, and you want to extract uh, a kind of characters. Uh, you want to display that characters here. So the first thing you do, uh, use your write functions, open up your write functions, and the text that you want to extract. Let's start from this input, which is books. Uh, the num shine, um, I might decide to include it, I might not. Uh, let's assume that I decided I don't want to include it. It's going to have to extract only k, because k is only uh, characters at the right of the screen, is the last characters. And, uh, so, but if I want to decide that I only want to extract two, included uh, numbers of characters, I also want to extract. So, it's a practical K. So, if I drag this one down, so you can see here, um, uh, even though this one is uh, a month of the year, it's only extracting 93 because it believe that's only because it's going to start counting uh, from from January up to today. So you can see, so you extract two here, and here you only extract O N. Uh, here is only extract, if I change this one to assassin uh, um, letter head, you see you only extract A D here. Um, you can see how you can use to do that. And if I increase this one to assassin letter three, you can see it will extract the numbers of characters that you include. So, and you can also use your write functions in this way. Uh, take for example, this as a as a result. You can also bring your write functions and include uh, the text. This as a mean that I use the word text that you want to extract, comma, and uh, so what do you want to extract? And, you can see, okay. So, all depends on what you want to extract. So, if you want to extract all of them, FA5, it will, it will give you everything here. So, you can see. And um, there's a lot of things you can use your write functions to do. And uh, sometimes you can also bring write functions. Uh, you include uh, the lengths of the characters of the of the strings and also find as a minute you have your rights open up your rights 
and your text that you want to extract this as in that one that one and you introduce the length of that text let's assume that you want to know the length of that text which is the same thing um, uh, close that see that's it's telling you that and uh, so and you can also bring in uh, after that you know, let's assume that you want to find uh, create find and you put a characters here and the same things you want to extract uh, I have to close this ones to strings see on names so it's telling you this on names characters here so so um you can start you can use this as well uh, so this is how to use the right strings uh, in excel so hope you guys enjoy it and i'll speak to you in the next training bye for now